Hey guys, what's going on? Jay here. Just doing a quick uh, start video to the 48 hour build. Got the parts all soaked last night and dried uh, this morning all day. They're ready to go. <clears throat> so then in the bucket there, it is actually uh, 8.01. So we are ready to, uh, ready to rock and roll here. <clears throat> um, I think it was Motor, Motorhead 1964. Uh, we were kind of talking back and forth about different primers and how it makes the uh, top coat of your paint that you're going with kind of have a different color to it. So I did a couple tests anyways. <clears throat> I, uh, I went with the uh, Italian red, stoplight red, and uh, this Insinga red is I think how you say it. They're all Model Masters. They're all like these here, these Model Master little ones here. This is what I buy, but acrylics. That's what they are, they are acrylics. But here's kind of the, the test on it. This is that Insinga uh, red with the yellow uh, primer underneath. Uh, there's no clear on this. Uh, what I'm going to do to this probably is throw some clear on it later. I just did them like uh, <clears throat> this morning, so. Well, I primed them this morning and then uh, sprayed some paint on them after work here. So they've only been drying for a, a couple hours. So I'm going to give them a little more time to dry before I throw some primer on them. And that was with the yellow. And this is the same color with the s silver base on it. So there's a little, like the silver looks to be a little bit darker um, red to it. <clears throat> Sorry if the light's not that great, guys, but like I said, I think it will look really nice once I get some clear on it, and that's probably what I'll do here. I still haven't picked a red that I'm going with. I got three different reds here, and I haven't picked one yet, but I got some time. I got some sand and cutting and uh, gluing and um, cleanup to do, so before and primer before we even worry about paint. So, so I, like I said, tonight I'll probably throw some clear on these and. This one here was the stoplight red, and I forgot to spray another one in another spoon in the silver. So I have uh, it says it's silver on here, but this is actually yellow. I think I'm going a little crazy here, but but uh, it's actually yellow because I remember I, I was like, oh, I forgot to spray another silver. But this is the, with the yellow. It, it looks like almost orange with the sorry. Never mind. That's the Insinga. That one we're saving until last, or the Italian. Man, I'll get it together, don't worry here. Brain's all scattered, trying to make sure I got everything for this build. Sorry guys. <clears throat> but this is the stoplight uh, red, this red here. And it's got like a little, it's almost like a metallic red, but like it's got a sparkle, it's really nice. I'm thinking this red is might, this is without anything. That's just the white right there, and I really like that. Just the white base uh, spoon with no primer, no nothing. I just wanted to spray to see how it looked against the white, so that's why I sprayed it like that. But, and this one is the yellow, obviously, because it's. And I like that too. I really like the shine. It almost got like an orangey. It might look good like once it's uh, cleared, but <clears throat> sanded and cleared it. When it's sand, I find when you when you wet sand, the paint seems to go a little bit lighter. So. That might even go a little more orangey looking, but who knows. But I like the both of these too. Like it's, they're both nice reds. Like I said, that's a stoplight with the yellow and then just the... And this is the Italian red here. Italian red, I'm leaning away for I don't care for either of these, but... <clears throat> this is the silver uh, base coat primer. And then the Italian red over it. And this one it was with the yellow. And the uh, yellow is like... With the yellow, it's like really orangey, like an orangey, yeah. You can see that really orange to it, but. But anyways, Motorhead, that is the, uh, yeah. That's kind of the comparison there of the uh, different primers. But, um, and the yellow I used was just, for the primer, was just a chrome yellow. That's what it said on the, on the Model Masters, but it just, it looks yellow, like, it's just a yellow to it. And the silver I used was just the Model Master, same brand of silver. That's the silver I used for the the uh, primer on both those, on all those spoons there. So, 
Like I said, I'm really interested to see how that, like, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, in, uh, uh, yeah, but I really like that. It's like a doll look, and I'm wondering what it's going to look like with some, uh, with some clear on it. But, like I said, I'll try to get some clear, whoops, and then on the next update, I'll show these two again and see what they look like. Like I said, the stoplight looks red light, like, like it's got it. It has a little, uh, metallic-y shine to it. It looks kind of neat. I really like it, actually. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are the colors I'm probably using for this build anyways. Whichever one of these reds I pick, if you guys want to help me out with that, that's, you know, tell me which red to go with. But, uh, those reds, and then I got some gloss black, I got some flat black for the frame, some silver I'll probably use. That will be maybe primer, but I don't know. Uh, some aluminum. This is the tan color I'm going for the interior. Uh, and this is going to be the motor color. It's a Ford GM, it said on the bottle, uh, blue. So probably going to go on that with the motor. I found some of my kits here. I did have a uh, photo etch kit. Oh, I grabbed the one wrong, wrong one. This is for the three window coupe. I had another one that just had the vertical grill, like just the grill and a couple other little photo ash parts. And I'm thinking of doing some aluminum pulleys, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how much time we have and or see how much time I have. But uh, yeah, and then I got some different brake uh, calipers. Those are from uh, VCG resins. So I might throw those on too. They look like they'll need a little bit of playing with here to get the fit properly but so we'll see if we have time for that if not we'll be using the kit ones and that's it guys uh yeah everything's ready to go here so it's all cleaned up ready i'm gonna start uh start cutting her apart anyways and and uh get rocking on it i guess here and get into it so clean the body up and like i said get this stuff kind of kind of ready to go but so good luck to everybody, and uh, I'll be watching for your updates. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Thanks and bye.